I'm Charlie Ellis, I am a PhD student and I'm uh, working here at the National Lobster Hatchery um, in conjunction with the, the University of Exeter and their uh, Biosciences campus down at Tremont. So this studentship has given me the opportunity to develop new skills as a scientist and as a researcher that I didn't previously have, but this is an excellent new opportunity to work with some top academic researchers through the University of Exeter to improve my skills and um, enhance their expertise into the problems we have here. My project is entitled Understanding the Sustainability in the Cornish Lobster Fishery. What we're attempting to assess is how successful is lobster stock enhancement, how many hatchery reared lobsters are actually surviving to be recruited into wild lobster populations. For us it's all about evaluation of the effectiveness of our work, so for some time now the, the academic uh, committee of the lobster hatchery have been wanting to assess the impact of our stocking work and for us this is the perfect way to start that. The priorities for the University of Exeter are to do excellent research that is of international standard but also that has impact on society. What I love about this project is that it achieves all of those. Um, we're working with the lobster which is an iconic Cornish species. Uh, European funding to the University of Exeter is based on the idea that the knowledge economy of Cornwall should grow and this research on an iconic species that people care about uh, is helping us to understand how we might improve the sustainability of lobster stocks around the Cornish coast. Now we're looking at another new method um, which is using genetic markers assessing the population. Um, this is very exciting because it enables us to do a large broad scale study of the population genetics of the Cornish lobster to look at any regional structure or regional difference in the genetics but it also enables us to give us the tools with DNA fingerprinting to actually identify hatchery reared lobsters in the wild using that method. The thing about genetic tools is that they're brand new, it's really exciting, the work that Charlie's doing is really exciting. Uh, I keep thinking of it in terms of when the microscope was first discovered and people could suddenly see a whole new world and it's exactly that sort of revolution. Suddenly we're able to, to see things about the animals we're dealing with in a completely new light. This will have uh, direct implications for how the lobster is fished, how the lobster is marketed and how the lobster is purchased and enjoyed by the public. So it's having impact, uh, it will increase our understanding and it will also yield international standard research publications. What we're doing here is, is twofold really. If stocks collapse as they have done elsewhere in, in, the, in, in Europe, then we can restock the fishery and this is developing the technologies we need to do so. The other side of it is trying to make that fishery more productive and enhance those stocks of lobster.